Oh. Well, so I'm getting it on Friday, and and then I'm going to go to work. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, really? That's perfect. Okay. I mean, and they would let me leave early if I felt like shit, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to take work off. I'll just play it by ear and see what happens. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh, the lighting's kind of weird. But can you see it? Parents are going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Alright. What? Oh, wait, at Six Flags? Is that why you were talking about going to Six Flags? Oh, oh, oh. Like, that's what happens because I'm so bad at keeping up with the conversations that I was like, oh, Savannah's going to Six Flags. Cool. <laughs> I was like, lucky? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Liz. Yeah, just like take it easy if you, obviously, you know. Take it as chill as you want. Um, definitely grab a block if you have it. And if you don't have a block, just get a pillow. Um, anything soft. We'll wait like one more minute and then we'll get started. Liz, are you in Richmond? I'm gonna ask you every week. <laughs> got it, got it. Okay. Is that where the horses are? Ponies? Oh, okay. It's like something about ponies. Nice. <laughs> good. Yeah. That's good. Well, Richmond will be fun. I'm excited for you. Yeah. Family time, you know? Best. Um, cool. Let's let's go ahead and get started. So, again, Today, a block will be great. Um, if you don't have a block, any pillow, any any size pillow, um, just that little bit of lift can be beneficial. And just a few of the poses we'll take um, throughout our flow today. And then we can settle right into child pose. So coming toward the back of the mat, bring the big toes to touch, and then start to wiggle your knees out to the sides of the mat. So before you um, start to lay down, root your sits bones, root your bum right into your heels, bring your palms down on the mat, and then just slowly walk them forward. See how far you're, you can keep the connection between the heels and the sits bones. And then just start to relax into it as your chest melts down to the floor. Don't stress if you feel your um, butt and your heels disconnect. That's no problem. Let the armpits open up toward the mat and the forehead just rest down on the floor. Close the eyes here. We'll start to take really big, deep um, belly breaths. So send every inhale down into your stomach. Let it balloon between the thighs and then just sigh out your mouth. So these first few breaths, the first few moments, we're trying to use the focus on the breath to be relaxing. So every exhale melting deeper into the mat, deeper into your space. Trying to come into a rhythmic breath, matching the inhales and exhales. Breathe as slowly as you can without it being uncomfortable. On your breath in, try to tiptoe the fingertips another inch toward the front of the mat. And then as you exhale, 
press your hips down into your heel, heels. Just one more full round of breath here. Try to keep the eyes closed. See if you can kind of let the mind start to go blank and we'll use the next 45 minutes to tap into our body and to movement and give our mental space time to relax. So on the next breath, you can let the eyes open, start to walk your hands back toward your body and then close the knees together. So we'll come into seated on heels. So this is a first pose that a block or your pillow underneath the seat is gonna provide some relief on the knees. So it just, it just opens up the angle of the legs and will uh, decrease the pressure on the knees. So take a breath and reach your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, bring your right fingertips to the floor right behind your toes. Um, on the breath in, reach through the left fingertips, reach up and back toward the corner of the room behind you and hold here. So this is already becoming a back bend. This is an early back bend. Stay right here if it feels okay. If you wanna take it deeper, you can lift your hips up away from your heels, coming into a modified camel. Again, reaching through the left fingertips. This is a really, really deep side stretch and back bend. Drop the hips back to your heels if you lifted them, and we'll switch it out. So left fingertips behind the toes, reach the right fingertips up to the ceiling, and then start to take a little bend, reaching up and out of the right hip through the fingertips, stay here or lift the hips up to the sky. So if you lift the hips and it feels really bad, just bring them back down, don't worry too much. One more inhale, open the front body on your exhale, Drop the hips back down. We'll take one more on each side, a little bit shorter. So right fingertips to the floor behind the toes. Inhale, reach up through the left fingertips, maybe a lift of the hips. On your exhale, drop the hips down onto your heels. Alternate left fingertips behind the toes. Inhales, reaching up and out of the right hip through the fingertips, maybe the hips lift. And then come back to seated on heels. You can remove any prop from beneath the legs if it's there. And then just come forward into tabletop. So shoulders over, wrists, spread the fingers nice and wide, creating uh, the palms and fingers are creating a nice base for the upper body. Hips up over the knees. On the breath in, drop the belly down, tuck your toes under. So we're taking cow pose. Pull the heart forward. Imagine you're pulling the heels of your hand toward the knees. Look up as much as you can. On the exhale, starting with the hips, curl them under, rotating the spine. Pull the chin to your chest, untuck your toes so you'll press into the tops of the feet. And then again, cow pose, belly drops, tuck the toes under, pull the palms back toward the knees to open the heart between the shoulders. And then exhale, untuck the toes, chin rolls to your chest, expand the space between the shoulders. Now come back to a nice flat spine on the inhale. We'll move into a modified side plank. So the left palm and left knee will be our root. Kick your right foot to the back of the mat. Kick stand your left foot at an angle behind you just to provide some support and lift the right fingertips up to the sky. So the whole body opens up toward the right side of the room. And start with your right foot grounded, just to see how it feels. Left shoulder over the wrist, open the right hip up over the left. Now, once you feel grounded between the palm and the knee, kick your right heel up to the sky. So we're engaging that glute, that hip. Reach the right fingertips toward the front of the room. So what pose is this? We do it every week. This is our half moon today. Little modification, a little bit different. Take a breath in, get long through the fingertip and heel. On your exhale, bend the elbow and knee. Try to pull them as close as you can together, keeping them lifted up over the body. They don't have to connect. Inhale is to extend, kick the arm and leg out long. On your exhale, bend, pull them toward one another again. They don't have to connect. Keep the knee lifted above the hip. Last time the inhale is to extend arm and leg 
And as you exhale, drop right foot back down to the mat. Let your right fingertips stretch up and over to the floor, um, over the top of your head. So this is a big half moon shape from our right ankle through the right fingertips. Press the rib cage toward the ceiling. Take one more breath right where you are. Find the stretch. And then super slowly as you exhale, we're going to unwind all the way into our tabletop and reset to take that same movement on the other side. So from our tabletop pose, switching so that our right palm is the base, right knee. Extend your left foot toward the back of the mat. Kickstand your right foot um, behind you for support. And send your left fingertips up to the sky. Heart and hips open up to the left side of the room this time. Take a second with the left foot grounded to find your balance. Again, use your right foot to support the back side of the body so you don't fall over backwards. On your next inhale, if you're ready, pull your left heel up off the floor. Extend the left arm up over the ear. So we're really long from the left fingertips through the heel. Take a breath in. Exhale, bend the knee, bend the elbow. Try to connect them above the left hip. And then on the inhale, extend. Exhale, bend, crunch the core together as you pull arm and leg together. Last time, inhale, get really long through the left side. As you exhale, drop left foot to the floor. Let your left fingertips reach up and over toward the top of the mat. Full side body stretch. You're pressing up through the left hip, through the left rib cage, side body. One more breath in. And then release back to your table as you breathe out. Tuck your toes under. On your inhale, take one more cow pose. Let the belly drop to the floor. Pull the heart forward, gaze up. On the exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Press up and back right into your downward facing dog. So you can readjust your feet and hands as you'd like, widening or shortening your down dog so it feels strong and a good stretch. Find stillness here. Lift up both heels really high. Find stilettos in your feet. Bend the knees so much that your chest and your quads connect. Press the hips up to the sky here. And then re-extend the legs. Maybe the heels find the floor. And if they don't, no stress. All right. Pressing evenly into your palms. Inhale. Kick your right heel to the sky. Find some action in your foot, whether that's a point, a flex, or something in between. Take another inhale, see if you can lift the heel another inch. And then on the exhale, bend the knee, let your right hip stack up and open over the left. So with our hip opener, we'll add some movement. Take one huge circle, pulling your right knee toward your right armpit, toward your chest, and then back up and around. And then another circle, opposite direction, knee pulls toward the chest, toward the armpit, out and around. On the inhale, re-square your hips, kick your heel to the sky, leg is long. Exhale, knee to nose, pull the quad to your chest, hold here for a second, bring the gaze between your thumbs, and then step your right foot between your hands. Find your low lunge. Take a moment, kind of surf back and forth. As the heel goes behind the left toes, you'll feel a little calf stretch. And use this motion to get a little bit more length, a little longer stretch through your left hip flexor. Settle into stillness here. Tent up on your fingertips. Keep your left heel lifted up over the toes. Start to straighten into the right leg. We'll find a modified pyramid. You don't have to straighten it very much at all. It's really early. Let the chest melt over your right leg, chin, forehead, pulling down toward the ankle here. On the inhale, press into the fingertips. Pull the heart forward, get long through the spine. And then again, exhale, melt over the right leg. On the next inhale, bend into the right knee, low lunge, look to the top of your mat. On an exhale, step into forward fold, left foot meets the right. Hang here, loose and heavy just for a second. And then on your inhale, add a little bend, a little buoyancy to the knees, lift up halfway, press hands into shin, or you can leave the fingertips on the floor. We're just looking to spread the sits bones open toward the wall behind us. Press the crown of the head toward the wall in front of us. Take a breath in. And then relax over the quads forward. Pull it on the breath out. 
on the inhale. Roll all the way to standing. Find your high mountain pose. You can always readjust the feet, bringing them closer together, wider apart, so you have a nice, stable, comfortable base beneath the upper body. Clasp your hands together. Take a pistol grip with the fingers. So you're taking, um, all, you're clasping all the fingers together, but leaving the pointer fingers um, reaching up toward the sky. Take a breath in. Reach another inch through the fingertips on your exhale. Side stretch to the right. Make a big half moon through the side bodies. Inhale brings you up through center. And the exhale, take your side stretch to the left. Inhale back to center. As you exhale, hands come heart center. You can release the fingers so all the fingers are just pressing palm to palm. Set the weight back into chair pose. So the weight's coming back into your heels. Try to lift the chest up as much as you can here. Belly is really strong and engaged. Full breath in. Sit another millimeter on the breath out. Stay in chair. Reach your arms up overhead. See if you can take a tiny little back bend, just like cow pose. The hips tilt up behind you. The fingertips reach up overhead. Now straighten into the legs on the breath in. Reach up really tall. The breath out is a swan dive into a forward fold. Take it to the floor. Halfway lift on the breath in. On your exhale, plant your palms. Step back to your high plank. So this is not a long plank hold at all, but if you feel strong, bringing your knees to the floor, go for it. Nice, tight core. Take a breath in. Pull the shoulders slightly over your wrists. Exhale really slowly all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes. We're going to keep our legs rooted down into the mat. So start to press into the tops of your feet. You'll feel your knees lift and an extra grounding right underneath your hip bones and the low belly. Cactus your arms out to the side. So elbows and shoulders in line, wrists and elbows in line, 90 degrees through the arms. On your breath in, press into the feet, press into the hips. Lift the arms, the shoulders up, and hold. So spine strengthen over, warming up the back. Imagine you're pressing your elbows and the backs of your hands up to the ceiling. This is opening up the chest as you lift. Take one more breath in. And release forehead to the floor, hands to the floor, and the breath out. We'll take two more, just quick one breath. On your inhale, lift the arms up the chest as high as you can. Press into the low body. Exhale, release forehead down. Last one, on the inhale, ground through the low body. Inhale, lift the chest up, squeeze the spinal muscles together. That'll help you get higher and higher. And then exhale everything down to the floor. Bring your hands, um, palms on either side of your chest. You can give your hips a little shimmy and shake to release the low back. And then press into the palms and knees, right back into child's pose. You can keep the knees together. We're just passing through, giving the low back a moment to stretch out the opposite direction. You'll feel a nice release as the chest curls over the thighs. And as you're ready, on the breath in, press into the palms. Inhale, roll up into cat pose, puffing the space between your shoulders. On the exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, right into downward facing dog. Take a second here. Bend and straighten into each knee or each leg. Kind of walk it up. And we'll move through that on the other side. So even weight beneath the palms. Your next breath in lifts your left heel to the sky. Little action through the foot. Point flex point. Take another breath. And then exhale. Left hip opens up over the right. Take a big circle. Pull your left knee toward your left armpit, your chest, and then right back up and around. Same motion, opposite direction. Really exaggerate the movement as big sweeping motions as you can. And then on the inhale, square the hips, kick your left heel to the sky. Exhale, left knee to nose, squeeze them together, hold here, gaze between the thumbs, and then plant your left foot between the hands, find your low lunge. A little bit of movement, sawing back and forth. Feeling the stretch through the right calf. And more and more like 
This time, right hip flexor. Settle into stillness. Keep the high heel on your right foot. Start to straighten into the left leg. Doesn't have to be fully straight. You can stay in the lunge even if you want, just somewhere in between. Let the forehead drag down toward the ankle. Now press into the fingertips. Inhale, halfway lift. Imagine you're pulling the heart forward. Exhale, fold over the leg, relax the upper half. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left knee. Look to the top of your space and hop your right foot forward, fold at the top. Inhale is a half lift. Nice long back, press hand into shin. Forward fold, relax the upper body. Add a little bend in the knees. Inhale, sweep all the way up to standing, high mountain pose. Just like before, pistol grip the hands. Fingers clasping together, keep the pointer fingers free, pointing up to the sky. Switch the grip of your thumb if you remember, it doesn't really matter. Inhale, lift up and out of the hips. Expand the space between your ribs on your exhale, side stretch to the left. A little deeper if you can, maybe look up to the sky as you're bending. Inhale through center, stay grounded through the heels as you exhale to the right side. Inhale, back up through center. Um, exhale into your chair pose. Release the fingers, keep palms um, pressing together, heart center. So the action between the palms is keeping the arms, chest, and core really active and stable and strong, helping our balance. Take a breath in. Just like before, sit a little lower as you exhale. Keep the body as it is. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Try to find a tiny little back bend. Straighten through the legs, get really tall, and then swan dive right down to the floor. Halfway left on the breath in, nice long back. On the breath out, plant the palms. Step back to your high plank. Hold, we're gonna move through a different up dog variation. So give it a go, if it hurts, you can always drop to the belly for a cobra or a regular down dog with the hips grounded. But for our variation today, shift the shoulders over the wrists. Little bend in the elbows, little bend in the knees, drop the hips down to the floor, keeping your toes tucked under. And then on the inhale, you press into the palms, pull the heart forward, stay really tight through the glutes and through the belly. See how it feels again, bad pain. Skip this pose on the next round if it feels okay. One more breath in. Let the chin tuck to the chest. As you bend into the knees, send your hips up and back. Find your downward facing dog. Hold it here, free breath. Find a nice stretch, settle in. Moving on into our flow on your breath in, kick your right heel up to the sky, nice and high. Exhale, bend the knee, the hip fans open, just the breath out. Inhale, re-extend the leg, down dog, split, three leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose, really slow movement as you roll forward and plant your right foot between the hands, low lunge. Set up a really strong, Stable base, press into the feet, squeeze the inner thighs toward one another, engage your core. Next breath in, sweep your arms up to the sky, use that motion to lift the chest, lift the body up into high lunge. Add a little bend into your left leg here. See if you can pull your left hip forward in line with the right, and then start to straighten the leg. If that feels like a good stretch, take a breath in here. Full breath out, just a nice long hold, feel the fire in the quad. On your inhale, bring your arms to a T, straighten through the right leg, and again, we'll swan dive into a modified pyramid. So we've been here before. Keep your left heel lifted, press into the fingertips, inhale, pull the heart forward, long back. Exhale, let the chest melt over the quad. This time, low lunge on your inhale, bend into the right knee. Press the fingertips in front of your toes. Again, inhale, look forward, prepare. On your exhale, send all the weight into your right foot. Pull the left knee to your nose. Find cat through the back, so big puff between the shoulder blades. Ground down into your right foot, spike into that heel at a bend in the knee. Next inhale, come up to staff pose. 
as you sweep up to standing, left knee follows, pulling up toward the chest. Find your balance here. Inhale, get long and tall. On your exhale, figure four, cross your left ankle over the right knee. Bring palms together, heart center, and start to sit the wheat back, just like you're sitting in an armchair, as low as you can. If you lose your balance, just carefully meet us right back in the pose. Flex your left foot really hard. And if you feel stable, see if you can take the pose a little deeper, dropping the chest down toward the crossed leg. And it adds a little balance challenge, a little extra balance challenge, I mean, and a little deeper stretch. So wherever you are, one more full inhale. Last exhale. Nice and slow, inhale right back into your staff pose. Arms up to the sky, knee to chest. So holding here. Soon we'll give our legs a break, but not quite yet. Bring the palms together overhead. See if you can keep your palms pressing here. Um, take a breath in. <laughs> and then exhale is warrior three. So really slow movement will help you find stability as you transition. Imagine you are pressing the middle fingers toward the front of the room and kicking your left heel or your left toes to the back. If there's any bad back pain with your arms extended, you can just bring the hands heart center wherever you are. We're taking a full breath in, sticking with it on the exhale. This is a lot on the right glute. One more inhale, you got it. Start to bend really deeply into the right knee. Drop your left foot to the back of the mat. Drop your left knee, keep the palms together overhead or at heart center. Inhale, lift up through the crown of your head and exhales a little back bend here in our low crescent. So the hips press forward as the chest lifts up and back. Stay here in the back bend for an inhale. Slowly as you exhale, bring the hands to heart center as we find revolved low crescent, your left elbow pulls to the outside of the right knee. We coming, we're coming into a twist in the upper body. Start to actively press your elbow into the knee, press the knee back into the elbow. Use the pressure to twist deeper. You can stay right here, or you can lift the left knee up off the floor for a little bit more strength work in the low body if your right leg isn't too fatigued from the balance. Last breath here in the twist. On your breath out, drop the hands to frame out the right foot. Lift your left knee if it's grounded. And we'll start to walk into a wide leg forward fold. Hands walk toward the left edge of your mat. Let the toes rotate so all 10 of them are pointing to the left as well. Just relax, let the crown of your head drop down to the floor between the legs. A nice passive um, wide leg fold. Just a moment to relax and give the hamstrings some love. Now bring the fingertips, the palms beneath the shoulders. Engage the legs, inhale, lift halfway. Really tighten the belly muscles as you exhale, hands come to your hips, and then the inhale brings you all the way up to standing. Pivot the feet so the heels are in, your toes are out. Sweep the arms up overhead, star pose, breathe in. Nice deep squat as you exhale, coming into our goddess pose. Sit as low as you can. Imagine you're pressing the outer edges of your knees to the wall behind you to keep really wide open hips. You can take kind of a couple pulses up and down, and this will help you settle into an even deeper hip opener. Last breath in. Last breath out. Star pose on your inhale. Get tall. Give the hips a little shake side to side. Kind of press them forward to feel an opening. We'll find warrior two to the front of the mat. So bending into the right knee. Left foot is pressing into the mat parallel to the back. Start to straighten into the right leg as you inhale. Pop the hips back, reach forward, forward, forward. Exhale is triangle pose. Your right fingertips can come to the floor inside, outside of the leg. They can come to the top of the shin. 
as long as you're not dumping your weight and pressing your right knee into hyperextension, that's totally fine to use your leg as a prop. See if you can bring your gaze up to the ceiling as you breathe in. Full breath out, find an extra inch of length between your right hip and your right rib cage. Reverse your triangle as you breathe in, reach up and back, high five the back wall. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to frame the right foot. Step back into a high plank. So here's our flow, if you wanna take the modified up dog, I'll walk you through it. You can skip it or take your own variation. So the inhale, you shift forward. Exhale, bend a little on the knees and the elbows drop the hips to the floor. Inhale, press into the palms, pull the heart forward, squeeze the glutes. Let the chin fall to your chest as you bring the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. And we're gonna match everything on the left side. Take a full breath in here. Big sigh out of the mouth, use it as a reset. Now, as you inhale, kick your left heel up to the sky. Use these inhales while we're moving to be energizing, really big. Bend the knee as you exhale, fan the hip open, release. Inhale, kick the heel high, engage. And exhale, knee to nose, nice and slow, roll forward, and then plant your left foot between the palms. Low lunge, set it up nice and strong, deep bend in the left knee. On your inhale, sweep the arms up, to standing high lunge. Add a, mech, a bigger little bend in the right leg. Use that space to pull the right hip forward and then start to straighten back into the leg to find the stretch. Inhale here, full exhale. Bring the arms out to a T. Inhale, straighten into the left leg. Exhale, swan dive right into your modified pyramid. Let the fingertips find the floor on either side of the left leg. Inhale, lift the heart, pull it forward, nice long back. Exhale, relax over the leg. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left knee. Reach your fingertips forward toward the top of your mat. Take one more breath, gaze forward, prepare to move. As you exhale, launch all the weight forward, Pull your right knee toward your nose, curl and round through the spine. Use the core to pull the knee in tight. Spike into the left heel. Next inhale is staff pose. Sweep the arms up. Use that momentum, pull the right knee with you. And stay here for a moment. Ground down beneath your left foot. Breathe in. And exhale into your figure four. Right ankle crosses over the top of your left palms, press together, heart center. Use the action between the palms to stay engaged through the upper body. Kind of a long hold, so try to take the stretch deeper with every exhale, maybe as deep as letting the chest bend forward toward the crossing leg. One more round of breath, stick with it, stay strong through the left ankle. Really slow transition on your next breath in, right into staff pose. Arms reach up overhead. Re-stabilize the left leg. Bring the palms together overhead. Try to press them together. You'll feel the outer arms get really strong and fiery. Super slow transition into warrior three. Right heel kicks up and back behind you. Reach through the fingertips. Keep palm to palm. Maybe they come heart center, your choice. Full breath in. Long breath out, don't move if you can. Last breath in, nice and long body. As you exhale, big bend into the left knee. Slowly drop your right toes to the back of the mat. Drop the right knee down. Hands are up overhead or heart center. Hips press forward, reach up and back. Find the back bend as deep or as shallow as you want. Stay for the breath in. Use the exhale, twist into revolved low crescent. Right elbow pulls to the outside of the left knee this time. Deep spinal twist, see if you can bring your gaze up over the left shoulder. Last twist of the neck is 
creating that full uh, stretch along the spine. Option to add a little extra strength building, lifting the right knee up off the floor or keep it grounded, yogi's choice. One more inhale, see if you can twist ever so slightly more and then release both hands to frame the left foot. Pick your right knee up off the floor. Then we'll walk again, wide leg fold, hands toward the right edge of the mat, parallel your feet. And remember if they look a little duck foot, if your toes are a little pointed in versus the heels, that's a-okay. And relax into your stretch. Again, a passive wide leg forward fold. Let gravity drag the upper half of your body down toward the mat. Take a bigger little bend in the knees. See if bending the legs allows you to rotate your sits bones even higher up toward the ceiling, adding more space for uh, the spine to lengthen and the crown of your head to get even deeper toward the ground. Hands come beneath the shoulders, fingertips or palms, inhale, lift up, half lift. Re-engage the legs, tighten the core muscles. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, all the way up to standing, reach arms up overhead, find star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, sit into your horse pose. Again, a little motion, this time kind of um, move side to side and see if that movement helps you get deeper and deeper into the squat. The hips are scooping underneath the shoulders, the belly muscles are squeezing together, lengthening and supporting the spine. It's nice, long, and tall. Breathe in. Full breath out, stay in the pose to the bottom of the exhale. Inhale a star pose, nice and tall. Exhale, warrior two, bend into the left knee, look forward. Straighten into the left knee, pop your hips toward the back of the mat. Inhale, reach forward, 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 lengthen the side body and exhale into your triangle pose. So again, lots of options for your left hand. Fingers can find the floor inside, outside the leg. You can use the left leg as a tool. But remember to stay strong through the left knee joint. Little bend there. One more breath in. Even longer breath out if you can. Inhale brings you up and back. Reverse your triangle, lift up and out of the left hip. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands to the floor. Step back to your high plank. Your flow variation, I'll, I'll take our upward facing dog of the day, shifting forward as you inhale, keeping the feet as they are, bend into the knees, the elbows, drop the hips to a hover. Inhale, pulls the heart forward, tight core, tight glutes, chin to chest as you lift the hips up and back. Nice job, stay for the inhale. Full breath out on the exhale. Starting to slow it down. Press into the palms, inhale, kick your right heel up and back. Exhale is low lunge, just step right into it. Drop your left knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach your right arm up overhead. So low crescent lunge. On your inhale, press the hips forward, tiny back bend here, reach up and back. As you exhale, straighten through the right leg. We'll come through half split, option to keep your hands Lift it off the floor, flying them by your sides like a drinking bird. And then on the inhale, slowly bend back into the right knee, sweep arms up overhead, press the hips forward, tiny back bend, low crescent. Again, exhale, straighten the right leg, half split option to fly the arms along your side for a balance challenge. One more time, inhale, low crescent lunge, bend into your right knee, sweep the arms up, option to rotate your right hand all the way up and around, bringing it to the back of the left thigh for a low exalted warrior. Let's take an extra breath here because I was talking forever. On your exhale, straighten into the right leg, windmill the arms 
to frame out the right leg, half split, point the right toes up to the sky. So layer one, stay right here. If this feels like a really nice, um, adequate stretch in the right hamstring, you can hang out. If you wanna take it a little deeper, we'll let our hips drop back to the inside of the left foot for half heroes. So a little bit of a strange pose, your left foot would be untucked, top of the foot grounded next to the left hip. They don't need to be squeezed together. You want about a fist space between your left heel and your hips. If that's a super big bend on your right knee, but you're somewhere in between this and your half split, you can stick your pillow or a block underneath your butt and that's gonna alleviate some of the pressure on your right knee. So whatever variation you're in, let the chest drop down over the right leg. Imagine that you're stretching your chin, the nose, the forehead toward your right ankle, and that's gonna help keep a long spine as you're bending. Last breath here. Try to stretch a little deeper as you exhale. Either variation, slowly we're going to come back into our right side low lunge. So if you're moving out of half heroes, use your hands to support you as you lift up and move your tool off to the side. Right leg low lunge, lift the left knee, press into the palms, inhale three leg dog, send your heel up and back really high, and then drop that foot to meet the left, coming into our downward facing dog. On your inhale, ripple forward into your high plank. Optional heart opener as you exhale, bending into the knees, the elbows, dropping the hips down. Inhale, pull the heart forward, squeeze the glutes, the core, chin to chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more side here, press into the palms, press into the right foot. Inhale, kick your left heel up and back. Exhale, plant the foot between your thumbs, immediately drop your right knee down to the floor. Lift your arms up overhead. So if you're taking the half split variation with the arms flying alongside for a little balance challenge, try to keep your right toes tucked under and that's gonna help you create stability. So on your inhale, hips press forward, heart lifts to the sky. Exhale, straighten into your left leg. Drop the chest toward the left knee. Fly the arms up, drinking bird style or press them into the ground. Bend into the knee, inhale, low lunge, reach the arms up and back. Exhale, half split, straight left leg, chest toward the knee. Last time, inhale, arms up overhead. Option to bring the left arm all the way around to meet the right thigh. Low exalted warrior, let's stay for one breath in. On the exhale, arms cartwheel to frame the left leg. Straighten the left knee. Start out here in the half split. See how it feels. Feels good, wanna take it deeper. Slowly let the hips drop back onto the floor inside of the right foot. One leg might feel different than the other. Maybe you need to use a block of pillow on this side and not the other. Maybe it's really bad and you don't wanna do it at all. Just listen to the body, see what it's telling you. If you have half heroes, this space between right heel and your right hip, both variations point the left toes to the sky, let the chest fall over that leg, use the fingertips to support the upper half as you take it down. Stay for an inhale, stretch even deeper on your exhale. All right, we're gonna carefully meet in our low lunge, so half heroes really press into the palms to lift up out of the knee. From our left side, low lunge, press into the hands on your inhale, three leg dogs, and your heel really high up and back, and exhales downward facing dog, last down dog, stay for the breath in. Stretch deeper on the breath out. Lift up your heels, look between your thumbs, and just gently come to a seat. We'll take a floor uh, butterfly pose. So soles of the feet come together. I think we did this pose a few weeks ago. 
So we're going to use our arms as a tool to take this stretch um, even deeper if you'd like. So it doesn't need to be a really tight butterfly. Heels can be as close or as far away from your seat as it feels good. Reach your arms out in front of you, palms face the sky. Bend the elbows. We're going to slide our hands underneath our shins or our ankles. Palms again are facing up to the back of the hands, pressing down into the mat. We have forklift arms here. And if you're in this variation with this bind, start to press the knees down toward the floor and then pull your shins up into the leg. That'll help pull the chest forward while really deeply opening up and strengthening the outer side of the hips here. So you'll feel a nice tug through the low back. If the bind feels weird, just come out of it. You can reach the arms all the way in front of you. Take one more inhale. Carefully on your exhale, we're going to slide the hands out from underneath our legs. Extend the legs long in front of you. Reach the arms forward. We'll take our reverse zombie transition. So really tight core as slowly as you can. Lower onto your back. See if you can control the movement so that you just feel each bone on the back slowly hitting the floor. And then once you're down, just relax um, everything onto the earth. And bring the arms wide into a T or they can be cactus. Pull the right knee into your chest. Don't even use your hands today. Just use the strength of the low body to pull knee to chest and then let the right knee fall over to the left side of the mat for a supine twist. So really just gravity is doing the work. Our arms are weights to keep the chest open to the sky. Slowing the breath, take a full inhale, feel the belly expand. And a full exhale, you'll feel the knee drop just a little bit closer to the mat. Come back through center, we'll switch it out so right leg kicks out long. Again, just using the leg muscles, the core muscles, you pull your left knee into your chest, breathe in here. And as you exhale, supine twist, left side knee falls down toward the mat. So no stress if the knee doesn't connect with the earth. We're worried more about left shoulder staying rooted down. Full breath in here. Even bigger breath as you exhale. Come back to center. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Now use your hands, pull on the shins, create a tiny little ball, a tiny little seed with your body. Take a breath here. And then just rock up to a seat. We'll close just from an easy seated position. Let the eyes close down for our final breath as a group. On your inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And exhale, palms come through heart center. Thank you, everyone. We are finished. That flew by for me. Please let me know how that felt. A little different pace, kind of switching it up to, to keep you guys on your toes, to trick you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you next Tuesday. I'm back on Tuesday schedule.